And they're all in line. And they're off. Pretty even start. He's a big dude is hustling away from the inside. And Rico Suave is coming after him. Brown Almighty is going to be right into the turn. Followed by Michael Witness will be able to save Brown just in behind the leaders of Brazilian court. Is between horses right now and in a tight spot as they make their way through that opening quarter mile. Indiano Jones, Mulante has him about five lengths off the lead. And stable mate the Sky Commander is following that one. The trailer up count anthem as eight lengths to make up 24 and 3 was the opening quarter mile. Rico Suave takes command up the back stretch. Rico Suave and Ronnie Allen Jr. open it out to about a three length lead. He's a big dude. Is content to gallop along in the second spot and Brown Almighty is flanking him. It's another three lengths further back. We come to Michael with us. He's just in the inside of Brazilian court and they both have about seven lengths to make up. Then the two Oxley trainees, Sky Commander and Indiana Jones, they have 10 lengths to come. Uptown Anthem still with the best view of the field, 48 seconds flat, the half mile for Rico Suave. Rico Suave into the far turn, he's got a four and a half length lead. Brown Almighty is now starting to reel in the leader and he is gaining ground quickly as Rico Suave is coming back to his field. Brown Almighty only a length and a half away, just inside a quarter mile to run. Brazilian court is in with a shot, Uptown Anthem swinging five wide for the drive, and they're across the track into the stretch now. Here comes Brazilian court outside, Brown Almighty, Michael with us, swings into action on the sand side. It's Brazilian court, Rosario sends him to the lead, Michael with us, Edgar Prado all over him, Brazilian court, Michael with us, Michael with us. Brazilian court to the inside, Brown Almighty and Indiana Jones. The running time was 145. Outside Gate Pro Prospect is showing speed. My spell is rushing on through just between those two. Now into second, and within about a half a length of King Solomon as they run up the back stretch. Rammer is now moved to fourth, and already about three and a half lengths off the lead. Capital City tightly down at the fence. Dixie Deputy behind that, and Conquester is a long way last. He must have 18 lengths to make up as they head for the far turn. Pro Prospect and Edgar Prado have come away with the lead. Mind Spell is tracking only about a half a length away. King Solomon is now back to third and about two and a half lengths off the lead. Rammer has five lengths to make up. Then it's Dixie Deputy, Capital City, not doing enough at this point. Conquester still the trailer, starting to gain momentum, but he's got a lot of work to do as Mind Spell goes up and takes over the lead from Pro Prospect at the top of the lane. Mind Spell outside, Pro Prospect cuts the corner, tries to fight back down along the rail. It's Mind Spell, just the leader. Now, Conquester, who was nowhere off the back stretch, is flying up into contention, and from nowhere, Conquester came from 18 back, and he'll win his goal in the lane for Mulan Day. Conquester, a monstrous effort today. I 
for Place and Show, Pete Solomon or Mindspell, 111 flat for Six Furlong.